Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we have a project that is uh, scanned indoors and checkerboard targets were used in the project scan. So to start with, this is the screen that will open up once you uh, get the SD card out of the scanner head, put it into your laptop, open scene, and say yes to the automatic download. We're going to begin with the processing scans tab. You've got one down here on the bottom left and on the top. So we'll grab the bottom left here, process scans. These are all the scans that we've got. We will grab the December 5th training, which would be the top scans folder. And now that will include everything below it. And top right hand corner configure processing. We've got a lot of options on this page and we'll try to keep this very simple. We don't want to create a scan point cloud. Um, this is because if the project does not come together completely and we've got to do some man manipulation manually, uh, just re-saving this as a updated point cloud is going to take more and more time. It's easier to just create the point cloud after you've got green lights on your scan project. Um, we also do not recommend uh, doing colorization until the end of the project. Uh, this is in case you've got too much light in areas or not enough in others. This will create sort of a blown out effect where you can't see any data if there's too much sunlight, for instance, or if you're in a area of a project that is shaded or just dark, uh, you're not going to see anything if you add color. If you add no color until the end of the project, Everything will be crystal clear regardless of if there's too much sunlight or not enough light at all. As we get down here, we will look for fine targets. Now we've got a lot of options here, checkerboards, markers, planes, spheres. Uh, again, this project had checkerboards used, so we'll just use, uh, you know, choose the fine checkerboards option. And down to the bottom, we can perform an automatic registration. And we, because we've got checkerboards, we are going to do a target-based registration. You can see the other options here, top view, cloud to cloud, and a combination of those two. Uh, those would be used if we did not have any targets in the project. But because we do, we're going to choose the target-based registration method. That should do it. So the top right-hand corner, start pre-processing. We'll let the uh, software do its work and come back in a minute. As we can see, we've got our processing results, successfully processed eight scans. And uh, here is our single cluster. We've got green lights, scan results are here, tension results here. We're looking at 1.81 millimeters. Very nice. Right click on the scan manager and lock it. That way, regardless of what we do here, we can't mess anything up once we've already got this uh, registered. We can take a quick look at our project here in the correspondence view, right clicking on the top scans folder. And it will ask if we were to load all of our scans. We say yes. And you can see on the tree on the left side here as each scan will build its own block. And as each block is completely formed, you will see the scan actually on your screen, the point cloud be fully loaded. Now in this case, we can see that the scan isn't actually completely registered uh, correctly. Obviously, uh, we've got one that is uh, rotated. So what we can do is take a look and see if we can grab it manually here and Based on its number, it's 14, we've got 15 here, 13, 12. Most likely this scan was performed down here with the rest of them. With this sort of scan project being indoors, it's not all that difficult to manually move the scan into a position that looks to be correct. And we will go back to our scan project, unlock it, right click on it, do update scans. We will try a cloud to cloud now. 
see what that'll do for us. Now the result shows the scan manager again is uh, green lights. But before we get too excited, let's go ahead and take a look at this in correspondence view again. Let this project load. So far, so good. A couple more scans. And it looks as though the project stuck where we put it. And we'll drop a center point, take a look, see if our elevations are still good. They are. You can see the target positions inside the, uh, inside the building here. And the project is together. We'll go ahead and lock that scan manager. Now we can proceed with any sort of uh, 2D or 3D measuring. We can also take a look at the project in a regular 3D view. And once we open up the project here, one of our interior scans with quick view, um, you can see how clear it is with no color added. If we want to add color, one of the ways that we can do that now is to go to the right hand corner settings, switch user interface. While this can be done other ways, uh, this seems to be uh, my preferred method. It just seems to be the fastest. You can go to either any individual scan or the main scans folder or cluster folder, right click on it, go to operations, color pictures, and apply pictures. In this case, we're adding color pictures to all of the scans that were in this project because we chose the main scans folder. Now that our project has been uh, colorized, we go ahead and open up a quick, uh, a quick view here. And because the lighting seems to be good inside, we have no problem. This is an area, uh, because the light is in uh, just such a way that it's looking to blow out a little bit of the, the data behind it, we can take a look just to make sure we've got our, uh, our actual measured data with the laser by just rectangular that in and drop a center point. And we have the data there. It's just difficult to see once the color has been added. But for the most part, our data looks very good. And we are colorized and good to go for measuring. Good luck with your project.